Now I'm just walking up St. Margaret's Hill. Um, I saw that it was right outside the train station and I read online that it has like a really good panoramic view at the top of the town. So I thought that would be a good starting point. So this is the view. The houses all remind me of like doll houses, especially like the Calico Career doll houses. Um, I used to play with those all the time and they literally just look just like them, like the little box shapes and everything. And then here's the view from this angle. So it goes like this. And then, whoa, magic. <laughs> so Bradford on Avon is a small town that's a 20 minute train ride from Bath. And just like Bath, this town has witnessed many different historic periods, including having some Roman occupation at one point. This town is best recognized for its medieval structures, including this bridge, which was reconstructed a few times since the 1200s until it reached its final form in 1769. This section here represents the center of the town, and once I crossed the canal, I immediately found a Victorian church called Christ Church. I took a lot of footage of this church, mostly because I really like the architecture and the interior. I don't know, I find churches in the UK and Europe in general look so medievally and have some interesting backstory that is always worth going inside to look around. This is a second church I found by chance, which is from the Saxon period. According to Wikipedia, at least when I did some more research later on, it is one of the few surviving Anglo-Saxon churches and is one of the most complete ones, so I'm happy I saw it. It is dedicated to St. Lawrence and the architecture indicates it was constructed in the 10th or 11th century, but there is still some debate and conspiracies about this. It was actually lost for a while, I don't know, I guess it was buried or something, until it was rediscovered in the mid-1800s. So if you are into the Anglo-Saxon period, it could be fun to look more at this structure and the theories behind its actual construction date and history. Uh, I feel really lucky that I randomly found it. Unfortunately, it's much cloudier today than it was yesterday, so I don't know how great the quality of the video will turn out. But that's okay, because, I mean, we're in England. <laughs> it's going to be cloudy most days. But yeah, lunchtime. <laughs> I can't tell if that's supposed to be Winnie the Pooh or a panda bear, but I love them. <laughs> this here is the Shambles, which is like a market street. check their um, opening times on the sign. It says they're open, but also looks like really dark. Oh, but it opened. There's the bridge. This museum was all condensed onto one floor, including a reconstruction of an old pharmacy. But here I'll show you my favorite sections 
In the Roman part, there were diagrams of archaeology sites in the area and this cool Celtic sculpture that was found in St. Margaret Street. I loved these two brooches because I was actually taking a course on ancient adornments and we discussed these frequently. There was also a nice rotary kern, which is that large circle of stone used to grind grain. In the medieval section, it mentioned Tithe Barn, which we will be seeing in person in a bit later in the video. And the displays were all sorts of sculptures and pottery fragments, which are really useful in dating for archaeology. And there was also this child sarcophagus that was another Roman find. Here is a fossil section, which I just found cool. So yeah, this was a fun museum to explore for some local history. That looks cute. I wonder if they launch boats over there for punting. Here's a better view of it. It does look very Romesque inspired. I think this is it. Right next door, over there, I saw an antique store. Oh wow. So maybe it'll be fun to have a peek in there as well. Is that the barn? It looks like a barn, but it also looks like a church or something. This entranceway is massive. Look at these doors, oh my god. Like, for scale. This is how high I can reach. <laughs> There's just so much space. That Loki looks like the um, sarcophagus from the museum. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> this is kind of scary. <laughs> so it was from the 14th century. It was part of a manor farm, okay. I guess that's why it's so grand and less like, cause I was expecting kind of like a wood barn. It does feel like a barn on the inside. <laughs> like, you know that just that feeling, like the way like the floor feels almost, it does feel very barn-like. The ceiling is amazing though, like the rafters and everything. This must've been like restored or something, but I bet this was what the original looked like. Here's another board. It's starting to rain a bit. I'm surprised it held out for so long because I think it was supposed to rain for most of the afternoon. A beautiful meadow of wildflowers. Oh my gosh, if I had time, I would love to take pictures here in like a nice cottagecore flowy dress. Some World War II history. This is a um, pillbox. Very interesting. I'm just walking back towards the direction of the main center of the town, trying to figure out what else to do in my last hour here. Back along the canal or river. Here's the bridge again. It definitely looks a lot better in the sunlight. Before it was looking a bit like dark and dreary, but with the sunlight it looks much more... It's just inviting. It would be great to go back up Margaret Hill and see the um, town now in the daylight when it's all like nice and shiny. Look how gorgeous! Yeah, it was definitely worth coming back up the hill. Lighting really does make a difference. Wow. I had a wonderful chat with one of the locals right now, um, just right now. He was walking his dog and he was very kind and um, he wanted to know what I did today. So I was telling him he thinks I did pretty much everything that there is to do, except maybe kind of go up there. That's where we saw the Saxon church earlier. Apparently there's, there's like, like up there, there's like cuter, smaller houses to see, just some sightseeing. 
And then he pointed out that that manor, uh, I think he called it Morton Inn Manor. Um, I, you know me, I can't pronounce words properly. But apparently that person who used to live there invented the small wheel bike and now his family owns it. But yeah, it's quite nice. I, it's not open to the public. He said that it's open to the public on like certain days. Um, so I wouldn't have been able to go to it today anyway. So yeah, I think I think I did a lot of stuff today. <laughs> and I feel pretty good about it. Today was another good day. It was a great day. Not gonna lie, this morning had me a bit frantic, but everything fell into place and I got there in the end. I had so much fun and I hope you guys did too coming along with me. Thank you for watching and bye!